world just full of wildlife. What version of sliders are those? Oh gosh, <laughs> this is not what I should be wearing. Spring soupy. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. My feet are already cold and wet. All right, so it's been quite a while since I've shot my bow. Actually, not that long. I shot my bow last weekend, but the first time I shot my last weekend was the first time I shot my bow since I shot my buck all the way back in November. And this is kind of just, I, while I was shooting, I was thinking, man, there's probably so many other people that are like that. Um, I know we preach, you know, always shoot as much as you can. And I had as, mu as many excuses this year as I possibly could with getting a house and then getting Remy. It's just been busy. So um, I, this video, I just want to talk about getting back and shooting again. A good tip for this video is to be finding that anchor point again. And it shouldn't be too hard as long as you have a good solid anchor point system uh, already established with your bow but really trying to work on honing that in again because your anchor point is everything there's a lot of gimmicks out on the market on different pieces of equipment that's going to help you anchor better and it's far from the truth the best piece of anchoring equipment that you can have is three good i'd say at least three good points of contact i always have my knuckle under my ear right here and then I have the string touching the tip of my nose and I have uh, the sh angle string on the corner of my mouth and I've got my finger my thumb on the back of my hairline here so this is all gonna start out with me probably shooting really bad because I like I said I haven't shot good but I'm really gonna focus in on that what getting right back into it as well as working on holding my bow longer to work on stopping target panic before it happens because when I was shooting last weekend I already noticed it I didn't shoot that many arrows but once I put that dot right back up on that that uh, once I put the sight on the dot that I was aiming at I was already getting rushy so there's a couple things here that I'm gonna work on you don't have to do this this is just at 20 yards um, but this is really just I'm gonna focus on my anchor point and I'm gonna focus in on you know squeezing the trigger and not starting any new bad habits because I haven't shot I haven't really shot in a long time so to work on my anchor point and squeeze it so it's a really simple tip it's just get back into it but once you get back into shooting you got to really focus in on those baby step things because after shooting, like if you shoot every day, you get on that autopilot mode. But once you start over again, it's like starting over. And I'm really not caring about where I, like how tight my groups are right now. So it's a really simple thing to do, but Gets you back in shape. Oh, my feet are wet. They're soaking. Oh, gosh. This target was frozen. Oh. So that was a really good first group there. Um, way better than I thought it was gonna be. But I mean, it doesn't matter what the group is. Really just focus in on getting your, your anchor point back in solid, getting your stopping target panic before it starts. And I'll have some more videos about target panic here in a little bit. But the main purpose with this is I know I'm not the only one who's just stopped shooting their, like I'm not the only one who hasn't been shooting their bow all winter. There's probably a lot of you guys out there that haven't and that's fine you just gotta come come into season knowing or come into shooting season knowing that you know really focus in on your funnel metals get them all drilled in right away because if you don't you just pick it up and you're like oh everything's off I'm just gonna move it all 
you know, your bow's really not going to move that much just by sitting in storage for a couple months. So really get back into it, figure out your anchor point again, get it solid, get get your target panic fig figured out before it, it sets in, and it'll set you up for a lot better success, you know, moving forward throughout the season. So that's just a kind of a quick tip. I hope people liked it and made sense. If you guys liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and to subscribe and thanks for watching and also go down under the description because by now I'll probably have some new merchandise that's on YouTube so if you guys want to get some merchandise check it out so. all right bonus tip don't walk out in the spring winter soup water and get your feet wet and then when you're pulling arrows out don't cut your hand open because you were pulling arrows out of a frozen back target outside we got a little little pain here a little bit little blood <laughs> i'm tough in other words don't be a sissy guys don't be a trevor <laughs> look at my feet though look at how wet they are